Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the April romance releases that I am really looking forward to. I read a lot of different things when it comes to the romance genre. I feel like I go here and there and everywhere in like subgenres of romance. So you're always gonna have like a wide variety on my list. So just like be aware of that. Um, but I'm really excited. I have an extensive list filled with new authors, returning authors, authors I love. So let's get into this. First, I have Victor at Sea by Layla Knight. This one comes out on April 1st, so the first of the month. This is apparently a historically inaccurate sexy pirate romance. And uh, there's no synopsis up yet, but I just put it on my list because pirate romance. If you can't tell, I love those. On April 2nd, there is Only and Forever by Chloe Lisa. This is the last book in the Bergman Brothers series all about Vigo, who is the only sibling, a part of the Bergman family who has not had his love story yet. I am so excited for this. I'm gonna be picking this up day of release. I'm chopping at the bit for it because I love everything by Chloe Lisa. Also on April 2nd is Mahina. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, this is a Hawaiian mafia romance book, apparently. This one's by Nalani Takome. This one is, yeah, a Hawaiian mafia romance. I've never, ever seen anything like that before. This one is about Mahina and Zeb. And when they were children, they were absolutely inseparable. They absolutely loved each other growing up. Zeb was her protector. He protected her all the time. They were best friends. They did everything together until one day, Zeb is never to be seen again. He ended up moving away somewhere and ended up leaving his best friend behind, like completely cutting her off. Now Zeb is back two decades later and... Mahina has never left his thoughts. Zeb would burn down the world for her. And this is only the beginning. That looks really good. Um, and it also says that this ends on a cliffhanger. So I don't know if I'll be reading that one this month. Maybe <laughs> when the next one comes out, I don't know. Next is Made for Her Snow Beast by <laughs> Evangeline Priest um, or Ava Priest. This one comes out on April 5th. Like I just saw that she's a made for a beast and um, put it on my list. <laughs> Another monstrous one is Dad Bod Dragon by Ava Russ. You have a Dad Bod Dragon man. <laughs> this one comes out on April 8th. And hint, hint, there's another Dad Bod monster book later on in this video. <laughs> Ooh, apparently this grumpy Dad Bod Dragon Shifter is also the heroine's boss. The heroine becomes the hero's nanny, like for his daughter, Livy. And he has this rule when hiring her, he says, don't fall in love with me. <laughs> like that's his rule. He has a rule, don't fall in love with me. But uh, she's a goner for him, so. On April 9th, we have A Secret Shared with Death by Ariella Isabel. This is a fantasy romance series. And apparently the heroine watched her village be burned to the ground by elves. And I think the heroine makes a deal with the Lord of Death to get revenge. She has these new abilities now and they draw the attention of King Silas, the elf responsible for the inferno that engulfed her home. So I don't really know who the romance is with, but I really want it to be with Death because I love when that happens. Ooh, next, obviously there is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. This one comes out on April 9th. This is the new book in her Rose Hill series, the newest book, book number one. I don't know what this is about. Don't want to know what it's about, but it's a new Elsie Silver book, which is always a grand old time. This one looked so good. Okay, this one is called The Prospects by KT Hoffman. This one comes out on April 9th. And I think both of these heroes are on the same baseball team when they fall for each other. Yes, okay, I love that. I need it like now. Nine Month Contract by Amy Dawes comes out on April 11th. I've actually never read an Amy Dawes book, but I know my lovely friend Victoria absolutely loves her, loves her and her books. And this one has something to do with pregnancy. So I was like sold. The hero is a grumpy mountain man seeking a baby mama. <laughs> and I think uh, they obviously get into this nine month contract that turns into something more. I'm excited. I feel like out of all the Amy Dawes books that I've heard of, this one intrigues me the most. Next is Serpents of Sky and Flame by Rebecca F. Kenny. I have read I think one or two books by her. She writes awesome fantasy romances. This one comes out on April 13th and it's the first book in a new series called the Merciless Dragon series. I love this tagline. It says, dragon captures maiden. Maiden makes dragon's life 
absolute hell. <laughs> so at the end of a terrible war that happened in this world, a sorcerer casts a curse that destroys every female in the entire race of dragons. So in retaliation, Kirigan, the prince of dragons, leads a raid on the sorcerer's kingdom during which the male dragons snatch human women and carry them off to dragon's domain. And so I think Princess Cerulea is captured by this prince and is taken to his cave. She is furious, terrified, and determined to make his existence so miserable, he'll either have to kill her or let her go. I don't even need to read more because you have a dragon shifter hero and then you have a heroine who seems snarky and um, it's kidnapping romance, say less. I really look forward to this one. On April 15th, we have Dad Bought Ogre. <laughs> by Linnea Lee. I think our heroine is like traipsing around the woods and comes across our hero of some sort. I don't really know how, but the summary is kind of vague. So, but Dad Bod Ogre sounds fun. On April 16th, I have New in Town by C.A. Steinhouse. This is a small town romance in the town of Sterling Ridge, Wyoming. She gets in this fake dating relationship with a local boy named Grayson James. And then I think faking it and reality like kind of becomes a blur between the two of them. So, and I think our hero is like a rodeo guy. He's a cowboy, love a cowboy. Then is Shadowlands Omega by Elizabeth Stevens, which comes out on April 18th. I'm actually gonna be getting an arc of this book fairly soon. So I think I'll be reading this book before release day. Um, but I just finished today book number one. I'm very intrigued by this world. It's so interesting. This is a Megaverse series that like kind of takes place on earth, but doesn't. I feel like it's earth, but like futuristic, but also a fantasy world. It's like a weird combination, but it's actually really intriguing. So I don't know what this book is about. I don't want to know. I just finished book one today, so I don't really want to damage my thoughts on book number one yet because I haven't even written my review yet. So on April 23rd, we have a new Mia Sheridan book. This is Falling for Gage. So Gage ends up across um, a gorgeous cocktail waitress one night in town. Oh no, a town three hours away. And then she shows up weeks later in his hometown and she's pretending to be an art appraiser. Gage is completely blindsided, not to mention still very attracted to the apparent little liar. He can't figure her out, not her angle, nor the persistent pull between them. So looks like Aurora is our heroine and she is determined to find her father. All she knows is that he lives in this small town called Calliope. And I think she's like covering up her identity or trying to like sleuth around and try and find him. And Gage just happens to be there and she's worried that he's gonna blow her cover. On April 24th, we have Wed to the Basilisk by Layla Faye. A Layla Faye book is always gonna be on this list. <laughs> so monster romance, Layla Faye about a basilisk. Say less. On April 25th, I have Burnout by Rebecca Jenshack, Rebecca Jenshack's newest book. This is about, I think, a motocross racer and a gymnast, which I love gymnast romances. I love also when sports romances are between two people who play a sport. Like, I feel like that's really rare. So I love when that happens. This one looked so cute. This is called Lucy Loves Him Not by Rebecca Jo Jackson. This one comes out on April 30th. Our heroine Lucy is a kindergarten teacher, but now it's time for the summer and she can't wait for her summer tradition of running the Sweet River Summer Festival. But this summer, the new city manager, Adam, throws a major wrench in Lucy's tradition and seems set on ruining her perfectly set plans. After a meat disaster and the drawing up of an extensive contract, Adam and Lily decide to work together on the festival, even if it might drive her crazy. And I assume this is the romance between the two of them, it takes place in Texas, which is fun. You don't get a lot of Texas romances, I feel like, but this cover just like hooked me and it looks so cute. And the last book that I have is Truly Madly Deeply by Alexandria Belfour. This one comes out on April 30th as well. This one is the romance between Truly and Colin. Apparently Truly is a romance writer. And I think she has like a meat disaster with Colin and um, they don't really get off on the right foot, but then he comes back wanting to like grovel essentially for their horrible meet cute moment. And I don't really know what happens next, but that actually looks really cute. I have not read anything by this author yet, but I need to. Can we just talk about how this hero looks like Steve Harrington from Stranger Things? Cause he does. <laughs> Anyways, so you have it. Those are all the books that I'm looking forward to that come out in April. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, I would love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a purple heart emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.